as involved as you are, you can't help but continue to learn every day too. Is that is that part of the passion that drives you? Well, I will share a little story that I don't tell very often. I was in a New York, and I got involved in a weekly poker game. And I'd been winning a little bit, and then I started to lose a little bit. So I decided that I would uh, needed to know more about poker. So I went out and bought four books on how to play poker. And in seven weeks, this was a game where people were winning $30 and losing 20 more losers than winners. And all of a sudden, in seven weeks, I'd won $250. So that showed me the, the value of an education. If you focus in on a subject, you can learn a lot. At that point, the phone rang and someone said, how would you like to move to Milwaukee? So the game would not have been able to take somebody winning that consistently. So I've been a big believer. What I learned at Harvard Business School, I've been able to use for the next 50 years. And the basic principles don't change. The tools keep changing, but the principles don't change. One of the most important courses I had in business school was a course on production. And I realized that running an office can be treated like running a factory, but you you can't call it a factory. But every process needs to be standardized. And so we were able to, or my goal was to get a million dollars in sales per employee, which we ultimately achieved. But by being, we ran the whole company with a payroll cost of 4%, including my own. And the net effect is that our competition could not keep up with us. <laughs>